OK, so in this video, we're going to work out how to calculate the Taylor series uh, for tangent at the point zero. And always when you're working out a Taylor series, series of poly not polynomials, you need to know how many degrees you're going to calculate it for and at what point. So we've been asked for five terms, which is here. So basically, we need degree five. So n is five when we're working out our formula. And point zero, so it's at a point A, is normally what the Taylor series is worked out at. So in our case here, A is zero. And of course, the function is tan of x. So down on the bottom here, I've got the generic formula for Taylor polynomials for five terms. And I've included the last one there, which will work for up to any number of uh, terms. So if it's eight, just plug in eight for n. So tn of x, so here in this case we'd have a 5 for the n. f of a, that's just the value of the function at 0, because a is 0. And then we've got the first derivative over 1 factorial, x minus a to the power of 1. And this pattern continues all the way along the series. So the second derivative over 2 factorial squared, the third derivative over 3 factorial cubed, and so on and so on, all up to 4 and 5, all the way up to n. And then each time you multiply it by x minus a, so in our case it's 0, so that's just going to be x to the power of 1, x squared, x cubed, and so on. So now we need to differentiate the function tan of x five times and calculate the value of each derivative at 0. It's always nice to work out this first in a nice little table before you move on to the next stage after that. It's always good to break it down into just easy steps at a time rather than rush it all in one go. So the function is tan of x, and we know that tangent of 0 is 0. So that's pretty straightforward to start with. Then we're going to work out all the derivatives. And I've written all the derivatives out here. They look a bit intimidating when you first see them. But once you break it down, they're not actually that intimidating. So we're going to differentiate tangent. Now, if you imagine tangent is sine over cosine, and then take the derivative of sine over cosine using the quotient rule, you'll end up with 1 over cosine squared of x. And 1 over cosine squared of x is secant squared x. And we're going to calculate that at 0. What we do know is that the cosine of 0 is 1. And 1 squared is still 1. So 1 over 1 squared basically is what we've got. So secant squared. That still equals 1. So the first derivative is calculated at 1. Second derivative so now we have to take the derivative of 1 over cosine squared. And we take the derivative of 1 over cosine squared. We end up with 2 secant squared x tangent x. Now that's uh, quite easy to calculate at the point 0. Because what we do know is that tangent 0, which we worked out in the first line, is 0. So when you multiply anything by 0, you end up with 0. So second derivative is value 0. Third derivative, we then take the derivative of this function, 2 secant squared x tangent x. And when taking the derivative of that using the product rule, you'll end up with 4 secant squared x tangent squared x plus 2 secant to the 4x. Now, calculating this again, we know that tangent is 0. So 0 squared is still 0. So this first term is 0. And then what we did know before from the secant squared is that secant squared is 1 because 1 over 1 squared. Well, 1 over 1 to the 4 is still 1. And then we multiply that by 2. We're just left with 2. So basically here, all we've got here is 0 plus 2. So the third derivative is value 2. And then we take the derivative of the third uh, derivative to get the fourth derivative. And you will end up by using the chain rule, the product rule, and the addition rule, 8 secant squared x tangent cubed x plus secant to the fourth x times tangent x. Again, this is a nice easy one to calculate what it's worth. Tangent we know is 0, so tangent cubed is 0. So this first bit is just something times 0. But it would actually be 8 times 0. So that's 0. And then 16 secant to the 4x, well that would be 16. 
but tangent is zero. So that's 16 times zero plus eight times zero, or zero plus zero is eight. So the fourth derivative is zero. And then we take the derivative of eight secant squared x tan cubed x plus 16 secant to the fourth x times tangent x using the product rule and addition rule and the chain rule we would end up with 16 secant squared x times tangent to the fourth x plus 88 secant to the fourth x tangent squared x plus 16 secant to the sixth x. Again this looks pretty intimidating on this fifth derivative here but 16 times secant squared which we know would be 1 so that's 16 times 1 but tangent is 0 so that's a 0 term basically 88 secant to the 4 well we know that is would be 88 but tangent is 0 so that's 88 times 0 so again we've got a 0 plus 0 and then 16 times 1 over 1 to the power of 6 well that's 1 over 1 over 1 to the power of 6 is still 1 so that's 16 so fifth derivative is 16 and if you wanted to work out uh, the derivatives of each of these uh, ones here, basically the product rule, the chain rule and the addition rule is what will get you where you are. And if you check my other videos, I will show you how to calculate the derivatives of all these functions. So if you look on the link below, you will see that. OK, so now the first stage is done. We can now tidy up this first formula, which is here, and put in some of our A values. And the end value there. So we've got T5x, that's the general term for Taylor polynomial for 5 degrees. The function at a, which is 0, the first derivative at 0 over 1 factorial x minus 0. I've just put that in there so you can see what happens. And then second derivative at 0 over 2 factorial, and then the x squared tidied up without the e minus 0 in it. And the third derivative, the fourth derivative, and the fifth derivative. So you can see the pattern there. There's got the 5, the 5, and the 5, 4, the 4, and the 4, and so on. So as it's at degree zero, we could also call it a Maclaurin series. So the Maclaurin series or Taylor polynomial of degree five at point zero for tangent x is just tidying all these bits here. You've got zero because tangent zero is zero. The first derivative we calculated at one, so that's one. So then we've got one over one factorial, which is one times x and a plus sign, so basically it's just plus x. The second derivative was calculated at zero, so we just got a nice zero there, that's fine. The third derivative we knew was two, so that's two. So the third derivative here is two over three factorial times x cubed. So two over three factorial x cubed. Well, three factorial we know is one times two times three, so that's basically two over six, so there's more simplification to come from that. The fourth derivative we calculated as zero. So this here would be a zero. Zero divided by anything is going to be zero. So just leave that at zero. And then the fifth derivative, again, 16 was the value. So we put a 16 there. So 16 over 5 factorial times x to the 5. 5 factorial we know is 120. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So we can simplify that even more. And then we end up with the 5 degree Taylor polynomial for the function of tangent of x at point 0 is x plus x cubed over 3. 2 over 3 factorial is 2 over 6, so that's a third. So you could put a third times x cubed, but I think this looks quite a lot neater and less writing involved. Then all the zeros we've omitted, and then 16 over 5 factorial is basically 16 over 120, which comes down to 2 over 15 times x to the 5. So that's our Taylor polynomial. So now we're going to put that into a graph and compare it with the function tangent of x and see where we're at. Now the solid black line is our Taylor polynomial. And we've asked to calculate it as zero. So this is the point which we're interested in the most. And the dotted line is the real graph of tangent. So you can see there's other lines here, but our polynomial won't cover that. And as you can see at point zero, it's very accurate. And it carries on all the way down to almost when it's a x is approaching minus one. And when x approaches plus one as well, it also starts to peel away a little bit, but it's still quite close. So you can see that's a good result for our Taylor polynomial. So let's just go back to the formula there. x plus x cubed over 3 plus 2x to the 5 over 15 is the 5 degree Taylor polynomial for tangent of x at zero. And that's your answer.
Okay, thanks for watching.